So, uh, me and Riley are, uh, are going to cast the next game. Let's bring up Super's stream. Ah, here we go. Hail Riley. How's it going? Good, how are you? Very well. Close down Twitch. Yeah, this is, uh, this is meant to be a, a pretty good game. We've got some good teams here. We've got Badlands, captained by Eddie, uh, who I assume is drafting right now, uh, against the Goon Fellas. Now, I have a, a bit of insider information here. Mm. Uh, Eddie's strategy, uh, the Bad Lads strategy, that is, to beating Goon Fellas. Goon Fellas is a scary team. They've got a lot of MMR there. Uh, their strat is going to be to try to tilt the other players into submission. Uh, so they just er win the early game, get some lucky stuff off, and uh, and just steamroll them. Is their uh, their plan? Good God. We'll uh, we'll see if it pans out. Pomps, Samo, Squelching, Gibbo, and Clabs. This is this is a strong team. It is. The yep. bad lads stink, if I remember rightly. <laughs> Goonfiles have played two series. Um, one was a 2-0 stomp uh, for uh, for the. Goonfellas, of course. Mm. The other was a 1 1 against Too Hot for Dota. Well, two of them are a Dees. Bad Lads, They're what's their good. record so far? Um, I'm I'm getting my info from Aerie, so let me uh, let me check. Do we have a, like, isn't there a website? Yes, there is, but it's not often updated. Hmm. Like, it's not updated ask. immediately. Let me have a look. The uh, Mac, uh, group stick? <laughs> bad, bad Lads is 0 4. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, Bad Lads okay. is 0-4. Alright, alright. They are, they are not bottom, purely by dint of the alphabet, <laughs> I believe. <laughs> uh, apparently the website is updated every night. Okay, okay. You know. I don't know if that's true. But... I think it oh, is. He has it. sent me his rats. Oh, this is cool. Thanks, Eddie. Oh, it's really cool. You are lagging um, out, sir. Greatly. Me? Yes, you. I love the way you're surprised by this not, news. Your, not, your not Discord lagging keeps, keeps lagging. Okay. Like lag lag or is it cutting Just out? Just sort of like... It gets a bit musical at times. Yeah. Okay, I'm not this sure. This is where we about. turn it around, says Rocket Man. I like that attitude. Munt, get in here. We're waiting for Hunter. You want to cast a game with me and Riley? Get in here, son. You got room for another person? I like a try cast. Yeah, get in here, please. Nice job, I can only say stats for Zoginator so just is bed for uno month. I'll take Bob. I'll take Munt. Bob will say no. Basically, anyone. Anyway. We're waiting for Hunter. Well, this is a penalty. Yeah, this is pretty shocking. Oh, 
Oh boy. Yeah, I'm looking at their games. It was a bit of a stomp. They did win a single game. Who? Uh. Oh, sorry. No, they did. They didn't win any games. No. <laughs> they of course own oh, for win rate zero percent. I'm looking at Hunter's thing and it. Uh, I'm nice sure. jump, Alistair. Yeah, it's pretty. CH33 say back on just um, resu bed for 36 months. Turn it around. Uh, uh, room is top Eddie was content. hoping to get the uh, the gyro pick in there, but apparently none of the lads know how to play gyro. This is the issue with a lot of these teams, is I feel like they didn't actually draft someone that can play a, a role. So you would ideally try and find someone who is comfortable on a lot of carries. Not one of those goons who says, uh, yeah, I can, I can play, and they list two carries. Like, that, that's an issue. Is it, yeah. And quite often you see that they, 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 they can play carry, but technically anyone can play carry because it's just clicking buttons. But can you win a game playing carry? That's the question. They've so... also done a bit of lane swapping. <clears throat> so Hunter has his first series. He played uh, off lane as a uh, Centaur Primal Beast. And uh, Bird was playing safe lane. Yeah. Um, but they swapped in their second series. So uh, uh, they just kind of did a, a bit of a shuffle. Well, uh, I'm not sure what they'll do this game. They, they might do another shuffle. They might kind of mix it up again. It's not a good strategy, though. You wanna you wanna be consistent. Ruckerman doesn't play mid yet. Here he is playing mid. It's true, mm -hmm. but they are zero and four. So I'm I'm, you know, fair play to the lads who are stepping up and attempting a new role. That's bold, but it is very very hard if you have a team and your hero pool is a, a puddle. Like, as a team. Because there are certain heroes that are really good. And if you can only play shit heroes in the current meta, you are in a lot of trouble. And that's fine. I mean, you're just playing for a laugh anyway. Um, but, you know, this is going to be a walloping. That's just the way it goes. This is just going to be a walloping. Yeah. There's, there's Hunter. Okay, here we go. How come Hunter has a picture of a bird and bird is just a question mark? Oh no, bird also has a picture of a bird, it's just not showing up. Rocket Man has, I don't know what Rocket Man's picture is actually. It's like a little um, skeleton It's a skeleton, in a space a skeleton astronaut. Alright, that's fair. Then I couldn't tell you what anybody else is. Jesper's just a scary looking dude. Jesper's picture is from something. That's Iron Maiden. That's Eddie from it, Iron Maiden. It looks it looks to me like it's a um like a legally distinct Eddie from Iron Maiden. It's like it's Eddie, but it has to avoid the copyright, so it's they've turned him purple and, and made him weird. <clears throat> like, um like discount bin Eddie. We have Hunter, but yet we wait. I don't know what's going on. There's another GTI game going on. It's uh, M. James versus uh, another team who I, I don't know. M. James is winning. They won the first series, crushed him. Just the one you watched. Now they're beating him again. It's pretty shocking. Here we go. Did they win? Did they lose again? No, they're currently losing. It's only ten minutes in, but they're down twelve to two. <laughs> Five seconds remaining. The six K gold advantage. Radiant team back. Remaining. Five seconds remaining. 
Remaining. Five seconds remaining. Radiant team back. Ten seconds remaining. <coughs> Five seconds remaining. Dire team back. We get three bands now? Oh, they've changed the... I forgot they changed the thing. Ten seconds remaining. So we get six bands, two picks, three bands, Five seconds six remaining. picks. Interesting. Dire team back. Ten seconds remaining. Radiant team back. Remaining. Five seconds remaining. Okay. Um, I've got bad news. Yeah. It's I a lobby remake. It as well. What? It's a lobby remake. Fuck me. It is a lobby remake. What happened? I don't know. Fucking hell. What, so disconnect? Um, Eri says, thumbs up. That's the last message I had from Eri. <laughs> Where did you hear thumbs it? Up. He sent me, he says, lobby remake. Alright, well. I guess we disconnect. I, I don't know. Do you stay in and then it... No, no, just do leave game. <laughs> okay. Time penalty applied to wrong team. <laughs> <laughs> this slow That's clap funny. is for Eri. Happen to anyone, Ari. It's not not a problem. We're only um only twenty two minutes behind schedule. Unfortunately, the other game is just as dull. Soups and Ash when I cast on that one. Yeah, no, it's just it's just. I mean, it's just over, isn't it? Are you in? I haven't been invited to this okay. one. Okay. I have now. There we go. Hop in here. Into the We Hate Everyone channel. Nice jump, Alistair! Magis my name just as you bed for 25 months, monk. <laughs> Bob says that's 50 quid off the next free laptop he gets. Brutal. This is why Bob isn't a caster. Dire team back. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Radiant. Surely team they just back. they have to do the same one, so right? They don't get to. I anything. I don't I assume, but I doubt anybody remembers Radiant what they've earned. I don't remember. <laughs> Not like it would make any difference in the world at all. Ten seconds remaining. I guess we're just going Dyer back to regular team drafting. Back. Radiant team back. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Radiant team back. Ten seconds remaining. There goes the um, gyro that nobody remaining. on Bad Lads knows how to play.
Diverting back. Our first pick. Radiant team pick. <laughs> it's a nature's oh, prophet. Dire team back. Ten seconds remaining. Dire team back. Right, well, I'm going to nuke remaining. the politics channel. One sec. Five seconds Should have been done ages ago. Delete channel, delete channel. Job done. There Kablam! Kaboom! Big nuclear smoke. Mushroom cloud. Good. Ten seconds remaining. Radiant team pick. Was there a single positive thing that ever came no. of that channel? No. Is the answer. It's an easy answer. The end. Goodbye. Just put, um, Treant into Nature's is, like, not great, if I remember right. How so? Because any time, because if you put your little, um, eyes in the woods or whatever down, you just get removed by, um... But you need an axe for that. And consider uh, this. He can walk freely out of trees. So oh, as long as you like lane right him up. against Prophet, he doesn't give a fuck. And also, mm. if Prophet does put trees down, you can use your Q, and it benefits from the trees as if they were trees. Mm. Shows you how much I know. I do like the Tide pick. I'm always a Tide fan. Five seconds remaining. Month's gonna add the politics channel to the Fallen. <laughs> <laughs> Let me edit the rules. Uh, here we go. Edit. We avoid talking about religion or politics. Do not discuss them on the server. End of story. Dire team pick. Phantom assassin. Oh, a PA in Goonfellas. This is bad. This is bad for bad lads. They won't know how to deal with the PA. Ten seconds remaining. Back. What do it? <laughs> 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 
Ten Walter White pick is, <laughs> is really good. Thanks, Bob. Five seconds remaining. Radiant team back. Ducky, will I see your like again? <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds. Can remaining. I add Munnit's mistakes in Dota to that list? He can't even spell Radiant his own name. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just fucking sick to death of the amount of fucking drama that dog shit channel caused. Sick to fucking death of it, and I'm sick of the amount of fucking time my mods have to spend holding people's hands about every fucking discussion that happened on that cocking channel. Bin it off! We have no problem with any other fucking channel. There's one channel, one fucking channel on the whole Discord that causes problems. It's that one. Gone. Never fucking coming back. Don't ask. It's fucking gone. Nuked. Into the fucking ground. It is gone forever. You want to talk about politics? Make your own server called politics and chat shit there. I cannot be fucking doing with it. The end! It's just so much effort to go through. The end, through. Riley! No, no return at all. It's, it's just, just shit. People type in fucking essays. Just fuck off. Go do a politics thesis and write about it there. Good fucking day. I'm done with it. I have no time for it. This is a fucking video game server. Can we fucking play video games again, please? I want to talk about and play fucking video games. I want to discuss politics. It drives me, it makes me so fucking angry. Everybody's got their own fucking hot take and nobody ever backs down. They're all fucking insane. I'm done. Seconds remaining. Good. Oh. You know what? It's too, it's too personal to talk on the fucking internet with some stranger about politics. Fuck off. Oh. I'm making my own channel now. Uh, if you make favorite. a channel, yeah, you make a channel called Riley's Politics Shit Show. Let's see how long before you, fucking people start sobbing at you about every fucking post. Come on, brother, do it. No Riley's rules. Politics Channel, no rules. <laughs> <laughs> Discord themselves will shut you down. Radiant Team Pick. Oh shit, I was gonna make my. Uh, so, Badvok has this, um, uh, challenge that he's, uh, given to, to the lads. He wants to make fried eggs that look exactly like the Haribo fried eggs. So if you can make a fried egg Ten that looks remaining. identical to- Well, it has to be, like, like a perfect fried egg. Five it has to be- remaining. Yeah, and it has to- Uh, like, no seasoning or anything. Yeah, yeah, of no, course. of course. Well, so people are meant to take pictures of these perfect eggs. Yeah, I was going to do one this morning, and I forgot I'll have to do one this afternoon. I mean, I'm not going to waste an egg just for some guy on the internet to be happy about me attempting his challenge. I'm going to make an egg to eat it. If it happens to look perfect, maybe I'll take a picture, but probably not. Well, I mean, it's just a little snack, right? Eat a little egg. The Why thing do you is, the no dark seasoning into jug? That's intriguing. That is intriguing. You know what would have been it's good? A... You know what would have been good? Beastmaster. That would have been good. And I think Tom plays banned. Beastmaster. Was he banned? Okay, he, fair, fair, he was fair. banned. Fair, 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 They ha do uh, have is... PA. That is the scary one for me. I just don't know if they'll, they, they can just stop the PA. I just don't think they have the... Quite frankly, I don't think they have the team coordination. Samu is still typing in goons despite being in-game. Shocking. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> Ten 
uh, Miles, that's the second one, is the uh, the only right choice, really. Middle one. It's just the best. It's just the best. Uh, it is a Hunter Pause 1, going from, uh, of course, the first series Pause 1, then Pause 3. Now he's back to playing carry. Mm. Uh, Bird is on the Tide Hunter Pause 3, presumably. But they're still mixing it up. Just kind of seeing what works. So far, nothing's worked. They have zero wins, but is this the day? No. I don't know. It could be. It could be Flax. They might win this. I think we forget how easy it is to troll away a game. I mean, it could happen to anyone. <laughs> Listen, in my opinion, there's no way bad lads win this game. Riley, I'm telling you. There is no way. No, there there is no way. <laughs> like sometimes we get some games that are like really, really good and really close and all the rest of it. This will not be one of them. I'm happy to go on the record and say that. This is over before it's even begun. The lads have picked Tide. I'm going to tell you already how they're going to build this Tide. He's going to rush a pipe. Then he's going to get a blink. He's going to do no damage. He's never going to do anything. They're about to get first blood on Bird, who's just walking in. Why are they afraid? Kill! Kill your goops! How is this happening? All right, I take it back. This is a complete fucking shit show. Half the team decided to run away when Bird walked this up alone. This is going to be first blood on Gibbo. All right, let's go bad, lads. Sorry. You, you know what, Riley? I never thought the lads were going to be this fucking awful at the video game. But they are. This is unbelievable. And they're chasing real far. This is a shit show. Everyone might die. Just, did Hunter take spin? He did. He's already used it. Rocket Man! He might have done himself there. They end up and they go for it. 2-2. Two, two. This is what I'm saying. It's it's very easy to uh, to win and just as easy to lose a Dota game. So the baffling thing there is, Riley, and I, I don't know if your goon brain spotted it, but the tide walked up and the first response from all the players on the Radiant they team was to run away. They all just the walked off. Of yeah, it's not interested. I think it's because he's a he's a big character model. Like he's got a lot of mass to him, and you see it like walking at you. Uh, it's easy to be intimidated. It is a Clink's pause for, and he's been very annoying. We'll see if he can keep that pressure up, but I doubt it. Rocket Man is going to struggle. He is going to struggle. It is not much fun, but uh, Squelchy can't last hit. Apparently, uh, he hasn't taken any levels in his orb. Once he starts getting that, it's going to be very hard to outlast him. Deny! There's a deny! Squelchy! What's going on here, bud? Hit the creeps! What's he taking? What's he taking? Okay. Alright, he didn't want to win. That's fine. He's level 3, doesn't have orb. It's not good. His courier? No. Rocket Man. Dyer's courier has been killed.
He has taken a level in orb at level four. Nice job, Alistair. Ilunga B lobby just resubbed for 61 months. Thanks, boss. They're diving tower top. They've killed both. Good god. Good. I'm watching bot. Yeah, this is uh this is Call it cock! Call it! I dare you! I have this I've Ari has told me about this this cool little thing. Oh, he's going meme hammer tide. Okay. <laughs> Alright, All right. I'm actually on board with this now. What sort of prize is this? Can I, uh, how do I do this? How's that? Oh. I can do a little, um. I can do a. Bam. This game is over. Is that you? Oh my god, Riley, they can <laughs> see that! Oh, can they see that? Can they see that, chat? They I don't think so. I think only we can see it. Oh god, I hope <laughs> so. Can. There's no way god, they can I see fucking that. hope so. <laughs> that would told suck. me about it. I All don't right. think they can see that. Alright, no, I think they would have responded. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That would have been... I would have got some messages about that one, my dude. Let me tell you. <laughs> It's only a 1k uh, advantage for the Goonfellas. I, I think it's still totally possible to, to bring this back. Oh, for sure. Um, but I'm just saying they're not gonna. That's all. Yeah, yeah. It's it's, it's hard, and they're, they're not especially great players, so... To play from behind in that situation is tough. Another death from Zavik, but he's really holding on. Tom's is... Tom's is living. a lot of damage, Zavik. Yeah, Zavik just going in for the kill! Meanwhile, Bot, Samo, being a bit of a coward here. Gibbo bullying them both off. The old Clink's tied lane. The, this, this depends so much, Riley, on the items that they go. Like, if Bird goes for shit, they can lose real easy. If he goes for something more aggressive, they can win. But if he doesn't, they're in trouble. The Pango is broke, but he is definitely going for the Orb of Corrosion. He's just got it. Uh, he's just not hitting any, like... The issue he's going to have... He's I don't think he's dead. Just click him. He's not dead. I don't know why Squelchy didn't f chase him there. That is utterly, yeah, utterly walk bizarre. Hill and, but, yeah. uh, like, here's what he does. He, you banish him, you walk uphill, you get two auto attacks on him, maybe three. There's nothing he can do. You saw him use his spells. You know you've got his ass. Yeah, I I just don't think they're spellcasters as long as it, you know. They're not spellcasters. Cock is calling you out. Sorry, Riley is calling you out for not casting spells. Take that to the bank. Squelty got him in the end. Um, pretty obvious that was going to happen. Maybe shouldn't have. Dyer's but it did. That spin used. This could be bad for Hunter in the next 30 seconds. They can just dive him. He's got the Lotus. Samo's in trouble as well, but won't dive under tower for it. Bird and he who hungers push meddling. Oh my god, the jug has died again. Okay. So this is what I was saying when uh, I said Hunter wasn't really a carry player. I think he's better on three, but they don't have a carry player. So I thought Hunter generally played player. carry. I don't, I don't think so. Chat. I think he's done it a few times. What does is, what is Hunter normally play? It's me and Riley Carson, so we don't fucking know anything. I don't know. Shit about fuck. PA is pulling, and Tree is last hitting. What is happening? <laughs> oh, gosh. Prophet's gone for the, the old rune here. He has Going got it. He's looking for the TP. Clavs, you just gotta wave there and stun him. Let's fuck him up, son. So, Bird's got Meme Hammer flying out, I believe. Depends what Bird goes next. If Bird decides, you know what, I'm gonna be a fucking Chad and I'm gonna get Chad items, he can do things. But if he if he doesn't, if he just decides to get Blink next, they're in big trouble. 
In fact, if he decides to go pipe next, they're in even bigger trouble. Yeah, Let's see what piping. he keeps up. He's going phase boots. All right, all right. Okay. Okay, okay. all right. All you right. know what I really like? Go on. The um, dead in the water, the... Uh, the, the anchor? Ice. Oh, it's so God, fun. it's so fun. It's so much fun. I uh, I like the eggs into um, something beefy and then blink. Depends on the game. You do need to blink with that though. Especially against PA. But dead in the water is really really good. The anchor just stops PA from running away. It stops her from blinking at things. Could be uh, could be very pog if used correctly. It's a dead tower at eight minutes. And a farming, oh no, a jungling yug. Oh, this could be trouble. The ult has dropped. I don't know if that's going to be a kill. Okay, Rocket Man may live. <laughs> Squelch, <He> Squelchy. <laughs> really, some bizarre decisions here. I, I don't know what is happening. He is a liver, but he's very low. The PA died. Swap. Yeah, they're dying. Burn, bots. burn, gone. <laughs> okay. Got All the right. <laughs> Lots of damage. That is a lot of damage, but she can't just walk it off. Zavik isn't having any of it. He's going after. They don't cross paths, so. They do not. Samo is back. Still level five. This is desperate doing nothing here. There's a stun. The stun did so much more damage than PA. Can I get a wave? They might get him. Yes! Yes! Nice. Class. Oh dear, trouble mid. Bird is going down. Squelchy's here, ready to fight. Bird dead. Squelchy's going away. for the TP out. Zazoink, he's out. Very nice. Has a Quelling Blade. I guess he'd already used it or something? Or did he just buy it? I don't know. Got the Witchblade. He's going for the clickety click. So, good against Tide, because of course it's pure damage, doesn't give a fuck. But, mm -hmm. the Venge pick then is literally just Venge PA, which is a really strong combo, because the minus armor from both is just terrifying. She's still going for Battle Fury. That's a lot of damage from Rocket. Oh boy, she doesn't have any of it. She's not very farmed. She's no, Riley. seventh on network. She is struggling. The lane was very hard. Which is, you know, against a tide, it's not unusual. Yeah, I guess, but, I, and Clinks was doing a lot of work. Yeah, as well. but will the tide, who has tied three times, by the way, take advantage of this? Or will the tide go, like, phase boots pipe or some dog shit like that? Or is this tide going to be a man? Gonna I don't think it. a lot of tides don't really get a lot. Of... The thing is, they're goons, so they'll be following a guide. Right, True. but the goon, the goon items will be will be boring. Here comes uh, Zavik. Ah, uh, this is that's what you're talking about with the um. I guess it's uh, nature's guys. You can just walk through trees. He uh, he can't be sprouted. <laughs> Ducky posted this sicko's gif. Oh, my game's crashed. Like, crash crashed? Yeah, crash crashed. I'm hearing things, but nothing's appearing on screen. Won't be long. Apparently, there's oh, a few crashes. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Dota's been, been crashing for me a little bit lately, unfortunately. It is what it is. Battle Fury is fine. I mean, we're not debating Battle Fury, we're debating the timing of Battle Fury. Uh, but given that they're probably going to win the game, they'll get away with it. But in a closer game, if you've had a really fucking hard lane, do you want to get Battle Fury? Are you like, yeah, this will pay for itself? Are you 100% sure? You're not just going to be left with like a fucking 5k item that never pays for itself? Are you telling me that if you'd gone Deso BKB and maybe gotten some kills, you wouldn't have been better off? That's the question. That is the question. So, Jesper has also crashed. Yeah, um, I'm assuming he's we're on Wait, Yeah, we are. Uh, he's on 27 health. He was running away because he crashed, and naturally, like your hero, just runs back to base. 
Uh, so he he may well have lived. That it's might save him. Yet to be seen. Still a fight going on. Might have just saved his life. I think it has. We're all good. But no one pause. You're in, yeah? I'm in. He's going to live. Oh, there's a swap. Is trouble for Bonnie. A lot of trouble. Here's a big roll-up, though. Here, Here comes, comes Bird! Come on! They need... <laughs> no one has died. No one has died. <laughs> Clavs might even live here. Has Three a stick, there's down. the banish, this is sad. Bird dies. Okay, oh, I don't know why Venge shit, stuck shit. around there. Tomps does go down. It's a three for three. Could have gone a lot worse. Oh, jarrett has got top four in the world's greatest gamer event. That's hype. I think if you gave the Dota pros in any event where you're trying to gauge the best players uh, on a game that they haven't played before, if you gave the Dota players just a week with a game, they'll be much better than most people. I genuinely believe that. Dota is even, so fucking hard. Even like a shooter, you think, or just any? I mean, they're gamers. Game in general. Some uh, there, there are some Dota players who are like, oh, I don't really play FPSs. But in general, if you give them a game, their reactions and their like mechanics are so good it's just a matter of understanding it mm. i've played a lot of games with a lot of dope players and they're generally really fucking good at games because this is like the hardest game you can main it is a toughie i know from experience although I, I i do think that video game. top csgo pros I don't think I don't think you could switch from like I'm not saying you could go, leave Dota and go be a top CS:GO pro or vice versa because the yeah. skill set you need to have is so different. But I'm just saying in a contest against other people who that is not their main game, I would back Dota pros. Unless there was someone like oh he's a Rainbow Six Siege guy, it's like well then fair enough. Yeah, I think that guy is probably going to do pretty well. They are not taking any fucking damage from these guys, by the way. Nope. I don't know if you noticed that, but the fucking Darks here took no damage. I don't know if I uh, like Meteor Hammer first item. I don't know if that was... On time? Yeah, it just doesn't do much. And so, it, like, Bird is running in and just casting it, <laughs> but not yeah. hitting anybody. So, as a farming item, I, I like Meme Hammer. It's really good. But you get it on Tide, and you think, okay, so what is Anchor Smash then? Because that's your farming spell, is Anchor Smash. Like... Ashwin goes Deso and shit like that on Tide, and just fucking slaps people. Because this is a hero that can do that. They have so many ways to get away from Meteor Hammer, or to just straight up cancel it. I don't even know when he's ever really going to get a use from it beyond farming. And it costs 100 mana, and Anchor Smash costs 60. So just fucking get that. However, this does let him do some damage to buildings, but you kind of think maybe that's Prophet's job to go and hit towers? He's got a Blightstone. He's going for the Orchid. And you've got Clinks who can also split push reasonably effectively. So I'm just not 100% sold on the need for it. To be honest with you. I like it. I like it for, for farming, but not much beyond that. Farming and taking towers. But so I, what's I better never, about it than it. Anchor Smash? Um, it's uh, it's just faster. It's just slightly faster. I don't uh, think it is because I don't know if you know this, but look quicker. how slowly these creeps are dying. Well, you use it in conjunction with Anchor Smash because it takes all their. Uh, oh, Tom's is in trouble. That was a bad vacuum. Good lord. Oh, Bird is in here. That stunned it. Oh my god. Oh, I don't think that stunned it anything. Bird is down. Oh god, it's Jug. Run! Run away! He's got the ult. He's thinking about dropping it. He'd yep. love to. Hunter's just gonna run away. He has no mana. Of course, because, um... Squelchy gets Squelchy crowded. does go down. Yeah. Hunter yep. wants more. Hunter's gonna get more. Oh, that's big. Big GG boots. Oh, hello. 
Punch? <laughs> too deep and too greedy. They might get profit here too. Look at this shit. Bah! Here comes Bird! <laughs> yeah, just chain feed. Look at this meme hammer Why do not, the boys? work! Oh. Wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Riley, uh, look at that! Did you see that? A... Why are you casting it in fights? Like, it's just so slow. Everybody just runs out of it. Just don't cast it in fights. Hit He's just standing and, there trying to meme. That's camp. why I'm saying the lads shouldn't get this shit. Look, anyone can press anchor smash. So make the most of it. You just mash E. Easy. This was a close game, but... No. Uh, it wasn't a close No, it game. was not. It, it, it was it not was a close a game, game. And now it's not a game. It was not a close game. Top tower is under attack. It was close at the kickoff because it was 2-2. Two -two, because everybody fucking acted like a twat early and, and fed some kills. But it has not been a Dyer's close game. Middle tower is under attack. Hunter does have Battle Fury. So does Sammo. It's just flying he is out. He's dead, though. He he's just fed. Has he? Well, yeah, yeah, he has. Correct. Good call, Riley. Thanks. He almost wasn't, but uh, there was a big spot from Clabs. Secured it. Oh, there's a lot of people down here. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Has anyone got any reveal for this man? Oh, lucky boy. No reveal, no reveal. There was, there was a reveal. It no just happened reveal. to be on the floor. There's a sentry. Oh, they had a sentry there by chance, but no dust on, on two out of the three heroes. Tree! Good boy, Tree. Good job, Gibbo. Has dust. The, the dark here is huge. Tomps knows how to farm. Has gone Greaves and is going Blink. He's, he's top of net worth. He is huge. <laughs> OD also large. Enormous. Has blink now. Oh no. I was meant to have this. This isn't what I wanted to see. Oh look out! He might do the meme hammer! <laughs> Why didn't you swap him? What was, was it? Huh? The old swap and kill. They're just gonna sack it off. The swap and kill is good. Uh, I I love uh, love a good swap. I don't play Venge because uh, I always oh swap God. the wrong person. Cut your way out! You've got a battle fury, you. Top tower is under attack. Nice jump, Alistair. Yes, she's the duster is bed for 44 months. Mimi Amel. Go on, bird, mate. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Radiant structures are fortified. Oh no, bird. Oh no. They're on the hunt. They're hunting. They're not going to catch him. Hunter has Battle Fury and naught but. Same as PA. They're very close on net worth, actually. The PA is slightly more farmed. Because the PA has a Blightstone and a finished wand. I don't think the Jug does. Samo's coming in. On the okay. <laughs> PA also has a Mithril Hammer, but it's on the curve. Oh, okay, okay, okay. The bad lads, God bless them. Yeah, um, it says it. I mean, it does what it says on the tin, right? They're bad. The lads are bad. They're bad lads. I have to admit, I was absolutely rooting for them, and I am. Still. Oh no, we always want to see the underdog win. Yeah, yeah. It's just that quite often, this is this is what I think is frustrating, Riley, is that these are fixable problems. Because a lot of the time is things like the lanes that you pick and the items that you go. And those are things that are not mechanical. They're nothing. You can have those written down. And that's where the coaches come in. It's like, here are some good, strong lanes. Like, get get a, get a gooder to back you up and to give you some ideas of what to pick. To give you some itemization to go on certain heroes and just go from there. But often... Did you have gooder as a coach? Who's their coach? It's Eddie. Eddie's Smalls. Eddie is the bad lad's coach? Yeah. Eddie? Eddie, you need to fucking get to work, son. This is winning time. You say they're fixable problems. The thing is... Bird is in real deep shit here. He is... 
just old bird. Oh, there's the swap. He gets the ravage yeah, on. Yeah, there you go. Alright. They left Venge for dead. Get the trio off. That's nice. Hunter spins it off. Good spin. Rocket Man in danger of getting OD. He's dead. They did lose two, but they only lost the support. Hunter goes down as well, and they've got four. You say these are fixable problems. Yeah, if no, they, they had are. fixed these problems, they wouldn't be the underdogs, you know? That's they, true, they but I'm just saying, if we want to root for these lads, they just need to do a, just a few things better. And, and then rely on picking... Like, here's one thing I would say, first of all. Is that this clink shit? Is, nice it's hard to pull off. Action and to make it transition into past the laning stage. Months, GT you, like, you need to itemize smartly and do really well. And Clinks has done well, but I think a lot of this was in the lane. I don't know what he's done since then, mm -hmm. other than run about and be vaguely annoying. He is bottom of the net worth, Riley. Bottom. Yeah. Like that. Uh, that speaks volumes. That that after is a that problem. Fight, PA has soared to the top Dyer's as well. It's uh, it's really bad. He was really good in lane. Uh, he was really harassing the PA. Uh, took a lot of the farm that she would normally get. Right. Um, but so here's what you then need to do. You need to take that and re and you you can't just know how to play her in lane. You have to know what to do past that point. Because otherwise you're taking a good lane and you're blowing it. And you'll often see the lads do this where they will win a lane really well. They do great work. And then they just have no idea what to do next. And they spend a lot of time, and you're guilty of this sometimes yourself, if I may, mm -hmm. of walking around and not taking objectives, farming your way across the map. And you end up with very, very, very poor supports. So Gibbo is desperately poor. Trian, definitely a hero that can hit creeps. Like, you can farm pretty quick on this hero. Your Q is quite good. You punch very hard. Go hit some creeps occasionally, but they don't do it. Like, here's the time. I would be hitting this camp. Why not? You've got a blink. He's not going to cancel your blink. If trouble kicks off, you just blink over. You won't. Job done. Instead, he's just sort of standing about. Lots of walking about. It's just money down the drain. Yeah, and Tree can hit. He hits very hard. Just get a couple camps while you're, you're, uh, hit some shit. you're doing work. Yeah, just hit some shit. Bird is down here now. He might get caught by Samo. He is about to be caught by Samo. He's blinked away. He knows what's up. He is being hunted. Where's he going? He's thinking. He's got five. Just T. Oh, he's he's thinking, but now he's dead. <laughs> That's a good bit of thinking. Oh, a trio. Wowzers. I don't know if that was necessary, but sure. It's only a minute and a half. They can, they can get this here too. Trio down. I'm going to do Roche. Yeah, I got the. Uh, they use trio. Now, Clinks is a hero that can conceivably farm that far into the uh, into the enemy's area because uh, he has a ton of escape. He's got invis, it's invincibility. In, in the game games. Uh, Tied, not so much. It's their hero models. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Tied's so big. Clinks is so small. <laughs> he could just he could just run in, run out. What's the smallest hero model, Riley? Um. It must be Ricky. I think it might be Ricky. Pugna is also very little. Pugna's tiny, yeah. I think it might be Ricky. It depends on which hat you've got, because I have a big <laughs> hat on Pugna. But I think Ricky's just generally yeah. very little. Hoodwink is also absolutely teeny tiny. Radiance top tower. Warlock in the end game screen when you have to have his golem next to him. Yes, he looks he looks so small. For some reason, they've done it now so that you see the golem, and he's to scale, so he's like a matchbox figurine of a Dota <laughs> hero, and there's the golem, looks like a normal hero. Io is an easy answer, that's true. That is true. Alright, alright. Eri, yeah, as usual, you've Io. ruined our fun. Oh, Congrats. Yeah. Thanks for saying that. Io is like up, the most the nerd answer, is like, oh, yeah, it's just Io, isn't it? It's Io. Yeah, I guess it is, Io is the whatever. smallest hero. Classic Eri answer. We were having fun there, Erin. You've ruined it. Yeah. Read up two messages. What's he said? 
Yes, but you had to make the cop out answer. You can't say it's a cop out and then say it. Here comes Bird. Oh my god. Bam! Sammo with the BKB. He's gone in on clicks for some reason. There's the trio. Can they do some clickety click in here? They're going Bird's on Bird. Down. They've got Bird. Can they get more? A buyback. There's a buyback on Bird. He doesn't have any spells, so I think they just have to give up buildings here. They got Greaves in 24. There's a swap. Bomby dead. They're gonna get more here. <laughs> There's the meme hammer catches <laughs> three. Hunter's in big trouble. <laughs> Still got Aegis on Samo, so none of this is worth anything. That's a dieback on Tide. Do feel free to call it, chaps. Samo's going crazy. Stay building. Speaking of Eddie and his team, he has a real problem with the big heroes. Uh, he doesn't like when they stand over the... He who hungers is dead. Uh, he doesn't like when they stand over the creeps in lane, and then you can just not click on the creeps. Oh yeah, no, that's that's annoying. That Super is jolly annoying. annoying. I'm not going to say techies. It's the, we're talking about the entire model. Not just the individual techie, goblin techies. And certainly the cart, which if you were going to count each individual techie, you'd yeah. have to cart the cart. Uh, I'm actually the technically pairing his Tidehunter or Underlord because, according to the law... Here we go, nearly level 18 on PA. God, I would be up there trying to get that. Those fucking last hits. You're the carry, Sam. Go hit creeps. Nice job, Alistair. Arsi è già stare su bed for 7 months. Uh. Grazie. Thompson's doing some advanced scouting. They might find... See, this is what I'm talking about. He who hungers, he's just behind enemy lines. He could be doing things here, but he's just walking around. Brood as the flattest hero? Hmm. Yeah, I think I think Brood is the flattest hero. Flattest. Savvik still hasn't figured out Sniper that. Sniper uh, is little, that's true. Do you know what, Riley? I might have held off on those greaves until the next creep wave arrived, took a couple of tower shots, and then done it. But I don't know why they're backing off here. They, they have nothing to be afraid of. They are enormous. I spam greaves. I spam boots. You do? Yeah, I don't wait for people to call for him. Okay, if well, I see someone that's why you never have any mana, and I'm down. like, does anyone have any mana? And you're like, oh, just used them. No, I just used them. Shambolic. Use all my spells. Shambolic. Yeah. It's a silence on OD. Nice oh, ravage. This gold. is a good uh, initiation. <laughs> Stop but as you can see, they're not taking any damage. Okay, and they're all dead. Okay. Yep. Keep. All right, cool. We can go next. Well, they've shown their hand, and they've got nothing. They've got seven high. That's how bad this is. Oh, there's a buyback. They're going to hold it. Un so the biggest hero I think you can make is Undying, uh, as his ult has gone on and he's got loads of stacks, and he's Bloodlusters and he has Giant's Ring. I think he's the biggest. Terrorblade also very large. Viper is flat, you're right, but we're thinking of him as not flat because he's far off the ground. Oh, Why are they still Viper. playing? A great, great option there. Yeah. We can... Can I just do that? Can I, like, does this work? What are you trying to do? If I... <laughs> doesn't do it. No, they're going to back off. Why are they backing off? I mean... Where are they going? You know, to fuck with us. This is... Riley, this is why, this is why, as casters, we often get infuriated. Because we can see potential, and then it's squandered, and we can see it game over, and it's then also squandered. Why did he get Manta on Jug? 
Yes, bird! Okay, bird MVP. Thank God, bird. Okay, go. Dog shit. Is anything gonna be different the next game? No. No, it won't. The bad lads are really fucking bad. Yeah, I, their drafting is like not great. I think their team drafting and who they've chosen. Uh, all of them are, are fine lads, I'm sure. I don't really know them super well. Uh, but you need a carry. You need you need a mid player. Uh, and I just don't think they have those. No. I think they've built a team of five supports, which I, I bet they're having a great time and like they're they're loving it in their Discord channel. They're all very very happy with each other, very I supportive. Hope so. Um But it doesn't win games, unfortunately. I'm getting get a message from Hunter now that's gonna be like I hate my teammates. <laughs> <laughs> Goonfellas is a contender though. They're they're really really good. So maybe not a, a very balanced matchup, but that's okay. seen the fallen it's just your message yeah text channel deleted yeah thank <laughs> fucking god Deleted after Greg claimed he would have to quit, quit RuneScape in order to moderate the channel. It's <laughs> <laughs> hilarious. So their heroes are drafted uh, by the captains, uh, not by the team, which no, makes things a bit easier. No, no, It's far more complicated than that. It's far more complicated than that. Oh, he's drafting for his team, then watching their game. What game? Because this one sucks. Oh shit, I really want to get in. Cuz this is a, this is a 2-0. Like there's no doubt in my mind this is a 2-0. Yeah. What game would you prefer to Fuck. watch there? Is there another one on? Yeah. Fuck me! Nice job, Alistair. Did we miss it? Yeah. Piero Miniac just resubbed for 48 months, sub Serreas. Ugh! Now I'm gonna watch this shit. 
What's the other? What are the other teams? Um. Well, the other team is Plague's team. I'm not sure oh. who's on it, but it has to be better than this. Yeah. You could watch it. Uh, behind. I think. No. Or you no, have to no. wait till the game is over. Yeah, and also if it's a good game, we'll get in the next one. So we'll just watch mm. this dog shit. 10 4. I have the game strategy for um <laughs> for Team Bad Lads. It's uh Okay. We are having fun. Let's see if that works. Nice! <laughs> Good on him. I hope they are having fun. Doesn't look very fun to play, but you know, we had a we had a, a real shocker of a loss with um well, I'll read the stack to you. Let's hear uh, it. We had myself, uh, Thomas, Ashwin, uh, Droidica number four, who's Adam, and Luke. It was it was the the goon especial, uh, and it was a fifty one minute loss. Uh, the graph is absurd. We mm. had like six or seven rapiers, I think. Mm, my God. Yeah. It was Thomas who just kept spam buying rapiers. Well, Thomas is insane. That's the problem there. It's a very fun game. Why is Plague in here? Why is Plague in here? In where? He's in our channel. You know, like, shouldn't he be drafting for the other team? Plague is in the wrong fucking game. I think he's joined the wrong lobby. Don't Plague, you're in the wrong it. lobby. Oh, I got booted out of my lobby by Eric because I'm not a caster. Oh, fuck it out. <laughs> <laughs> he did in here, lad. <laughs> watched the... <laughs> so I'm going to have the stream up. I uh, didn't realise Eric was like that. Eric is a brutal taskmaster, and he deserves it. Look, if Eric's showing spine, this yes! is nothing but a positive. No, you're right, we should encourage this. Even if it's against one of my oldest subs and mods. <laughs> That's even more important. <laughs> that That's is. Challenging. That's real spine. That's exactly. like standing up to the Duke of West Sussex or something. No, sir, I say thee nay. And everyone's like, isn't that the court jester piping up? What's going on? <laughs> Actually, would Munt be the court jester? Munt is definitely the court jester. Because in historical times, the court jester was one of the more important advisors. Had the king's ear and could openly mock him, and the king would just laugh. I feel Munt is the court jester, which is which people have taken to mean he's a clown, but instead he's actually a Ten vital, seconds, vital remain. advisor. <laughs> Five seconds, really. What would that make Plague? Plague is just an extremely well, well off landed gentry he's, who I have like to the, appease. He's the chancellor that he's like, I demand a suit at the council. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a, I guess so, yeah. I'm definitely a courtier. Yeah, no, yeah. Well, one of the one of the extremely high up courtiers, though, of course. Of course. You you give it to him because he's got like a he's got a pretty good diplomacy score. So you're like, all right, I guess, let's get in here. Riley, you are, you were booted out of the court, mate. That's that's you're an ex court. Ooh. You're lucky. <laughs> did, you're lucky. You ended up in the tower for a while, and then and then you're just out on the fucking street. Five we took your land. They gave it to Plague. He needs it. 
<laughs> I do need more of it. It's always nice to have more land. Who's the groom of the stool? Riley can be groom of the stool. I'll give what you that. Groom of the stool? <laughs> it means you have to help me poop and then look at my oh. poop and tell me if there's anything wrong with it. Right. That's an important job too. It's, it's very it's not important. A, it it's is. not a pleasant job, but... It's true. Groom of the stool. <laughs> and while I'm doing it, you're going to look forward to grooming this one, Riley, you dog. <laughs> Groom that stool. Greg is just one I've... of my northern lords, you know, there's a few of them knocking about. Try not, try not to piss <laughs> them off. They're always straining for more independence after you've reined back in. Yeah. They're not happy, they don't come to court very often. You know, it is what it is. I'd uh, I'd like your opinions of on on my team quickly. I've I've picked Jacob's first pick, Nature's Prophet, because he's mm. he's told me he knows how to play it. Okay. And I'm I'm really suspicious that what I'm going to see is the <laughs> El Clasico, <laughs> win lane, fast solar crest, and then just farms for the rest of the game and does fucking nothing. And I'm I'm worried. I'm concerned. So what? Else, give me the rest Five of your draft. So we've got. So you got a posi for profit. It's a posi five prospects. Okay, with gyro. With gyro. Oh, that's strong. Uh, we've got a slightly weaker offlane with disruptor slada, which is like okay. Mm, yeah. Um, so if you get a lead, this is scary. But who's your who's yeah? Your this mid? is I'm I'm going all in on lanes right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Who's your mid? Uh, and my mid is OD. And what are you up against? So we're up against a safe lane of Enigma Jug. Okay. And they've had to send the jug down. They they picked Shadow Shaman for the jug lane, but the gyro is so strong against Nigma in lane, he's had to fuck off. Yeah. So we've actually dodged one of the tougher lanes because gyro is so good, which I'm delighted by. And then we've got a Dawnbreaker Shadow Shaman. Okay. Which is okay. Well, the goons love to fuck up a dawn, so yeah. And we've got a Kunkka mid against OD, which I feel I feel OD should crush that, right? I think so, because he can dodge everything and he can bully the fuck out of Kunker, doesn't care about his... My his my one concern that. is that I was not able to persuade Gido to give a try on a BKB cancelling support. Ten so she wasn't happy to try, like, Winter Wyvern for the first time or whatever. Mm. So if this Enigma, POS5, gets to, like, the the BKB yeah. kind of status, Could be a it's problem. concerning. But, I mean, even Venge would be decent. It was Venge. Yeah, banned. they banned Venge. Okay. They banned Venge. Our Venge was was clearly too sick uh, <laughs> after after the two games yesterday, uh, which is fair because Gino did play that Venge. Aside from the wrong idol, yeah, yeah, she yeah. played it pretty well. So we just Bad watched Goodfellas Bad Lads, and the Bad Lads were Phantom fucking awful. Uh, <laughs> and one of the issues they had, they went tied, went Meteor Hammer Blink, and just yeah. never hit creeps and died a lot. Um, so, I want your opinion on the Radiant Meme Hammer Tide, because, yeah. to me, you have Anchor Smash. I don't okay. need a Meteor Hammer. And Bob was like, you can hit buildings, but they already had a Clinks and a Prophet to be obnoxious, tweaky building hitters, who then okay. fuck off. Like, I, I don't think that's his job. I, I just, I just don't necessarily eight. get it, because it costs 100 mana to Meme Hammer, Radiant and his next yeah. item was Phase Boost. So... He barely has enough mana to ravage and meme hammer. So I just I just don't understand it. Like the phase boots say to me, macho build. He's gonna get a death, so he's gonna get there and clomp people. But the meme hammer says to me, doesn't really understand what's going on. That's what it says to me. What's up, Yeah, Ryan? so the, the the point of the meteor hammer really is to is to turn you from this kind of laning threat that you can then safely ignore. Uh, because he has no map pressure into this insanely annoying, tanky, tower-solo-taking ta tower hero. Um, and it combos insanely well with Ravage because the stun duration is perfect to land the Meteor Hammer. Right, so that, didn't happen, really that good... didn't happen once. Also, they had a yep. Venge and an OD on the other team. So he's never landing that combo, ever. Like, it's I think, just, it's I think you happening. still... It is pretty much auto-default Meteor Hammer these days. Mm. I think... If you then go for like a mech afterwards, you're kind of fucking it up because then you're you're going from the really high pressure tanky hero into the kind of supporting well, one. Well, the game was over by that point, Blake. So. The game was over before then. I think it's the second item you get on Tide is really really important, and it's very hard to say. But Meteor Hammer, I would always always interesting, get. interesting. Okay. Uh, because maybe it just looks terrible in the hands of the dudes. 
if you see what a good Tidehunter does to the, how you play the map, because you just oh, <laughs> you have to always send three heroes bot against that fucking hero, and if you don't do it, you lose your tier two in like five minutes, and it's it sucks. Because all of your attention is drawn to the tide, and you're like, there's a PA farming, there's some OD mid just farming his ass off, and right. I've, just been, I've just sent all everything to kill yeah. the fucking tide. And you're sad. And that's what Meteor Hammer does. I see. But it didn't work. So, so bad lads have changed up their, pretty much their entire roster, where all those goon fellas have Ten just stuck to what works, reading. right? Just keep it simple. Radiant just on the same draft, pretty much. They don't have the, um... Yeah, they got the PA, got the bench, got the docks here. Jakiro yeah. coming in now instead of uh, what was it, Profit last time? Yeah, Profit um, was banned. Yeah, bad why, Profit but... was banned. So now they need to round out with a mid. The OD is banned this time. Uh, I mean, honestly, they can pick whatever they fucking want, and I'm pretty confident in them here. Something that uh, wins mid. Uh, Viper is uh, banned, of course. They didn't want to play against the Viper. Maybe some AOE would be pretty good to help deal with the CK. Shakira's uh, okay. Darks is okay, but until Pia gets a Battle Fury, the illusions might be a bit of a problem. They don't really have a way to stop this CK at the moment, in my opinion. No. I mean, the Pia CK matchup is kind of uh, interesting in terms of how carries go because if Pia can get those like two and a half seconds of hitting, she gets she gets the crits, she shreds your illusions, mm. and she can really shut down CK's joy of the fight. But oh my god, if you get that level 20 uh, W pierces BKB talent and you drag that bitch into the middle of the old illusion, she <laughs> dies so fucking yeah, fast. Yeah. It's almost you don't it's almost like you don't need to build that much evasion pierce on CK because you have so many illusions hitting her. Yeah, yeah. Um, one of them's gonna clobber her. One of them's gonna land the hit. I would and obviously Bloodthorn is insanely synergistic with CK, so you would do it. You are kinda happy to go for a Bloodthorn kind of build. But I would still just on the basis of ease of execution, the PA is pretty happy. You're you're happy to just sit inside your E and wait for CK to use his spell on someone else and then jump in on him. I think... What, what mid would I go here? Uh, there's, there's something... There's something missing in this Goon Flesh draft. There's some kind of team fight bit that synergizes with Darks here that I don't quite have right now. DP. Um, say that again, sorry? Death. Profit. Yeah, I think... I haven't. What, what's uh, maybe like a, a lesh or something to really control the CK? Oh, I think would be pretty sick. Really cool. Um, I think DP would be okay. She kind of struggles to deal with CK because oh, CK just with his chunks are primal beast. Bet's primal. That's so, interesting. I like that. So the the only issue I have is pre BKB, Rubik can lift him and Maiden no. can freeze him, so he's not going to have the funnest time. But. He is the get in there and cause chaos lad that they need. Because yeah. Darkseer, like when I'm playing Darkseer, I don't really want to have to initiate with a vac wall. You kind of want them to... The fight's going on and suddenly everybody's vac walled. Like that's the ideal. Is that you You can, like sometimes they all group up and you can just fucking vac wall them. But if they don't, you're vac walling one guy. Or you want to save it till later in the fight. But everybody knows it's coming and they might just blow you up. And even though you can become tanky as a dog, so having someone like Primal Beast go in and draw all the attention, he picks someone up and starts bonking them, they're all grouping around trying to stop it, that's when you come in with a back wall and turn the whole fight around. And then you've got like Ice Path, Macro Pyre. Oh, it's terrifying. Also, the Sturge on Primal Beast is fucking horrifying. So this is this is oh, a really yeah. good pick. I think the, the one concern I have is that this Storm can dodge every single sun yeah, in this yeah. game. Yeah, yeah. He has so, nothing to worry about this game. But on the other hand, there is going to be a level 5 death or two to Primal that he cannot stop. Mm. It's literally impossible for him to not die to Bet Primal at level 4 and 5. Yeah, he's going to stick. He can do a little whoop, zip, zip. But there is going to be a rough point in this lane there that is. I don't know if they're ready for. I mean, so the last game, Bad Lads were, were really, really bad. Uh, and they basically itemized quite poorly, in my opinion farmed really really poorly and were just fucking broke they had a lot of heroes on like default xpm and gpm this is something i i think that a lot of the support players players who say oh i can only play support they can't play support they never get any money they never have any items and they just they're just a spell and then they die so i think that i was saying to riley the easiest thing to fix for a lot of these guys would be these are some good lanes 
and please for the love of god hit some creeps like that's literally <laughs> that would make such a big difference to a lot of these and this, that's not even like a mechanical thing that's just a very simple when you're standing around thinking what do i do and there's not a fight happening hit some creeps even one camp makes a difference but they just don't yep. do it they just don't do it so it is quite frustrating yeah it's it's easy enough to just like you see a creep on low health just hit it just hit pick it. it go get it if there's no one I farming would, a camp and like you're near it hit it if i could get people's mmr to improve just by adding a mod to dota that plays a loud obnoxious noise when a creep dies under tower <laughs> and no one's there if I could get people to recognize that if, if there's a creep wave on this tower and no one's farming it at like 10 to 15 minutes, yeah. you're fucked up something badly. And it's not even like, just someone be there. Not a carry, not a core, just someone's got to be there. Do you know what I see quite often? When I, like, I look at the minimap all the time. Like, when whenever I watch, like, a clip or something like that, I notice that my eyes are looking at the minimap, like, all the fucking time. Like, it's almost too much minimap looking. And... What I'm looking for, I've come to realize, is a big wave of red next to a tower. And I am fucking going for that wave. Because you're like, oh, that's so much money. As a support, if no one's going for it, or your cores are dead or something, hoover that shit up. If they're taking a stack, go and eat some creeps. Because the thing is, it's just money that is being given to you that you're losing. So imagine it just falling through your hands. You want to talk about min-maxing and dotes. Hoovering up easy farm that no one else is taking is the biggest double you can add to your game, I think. Because so often you see supports that are broke. It's 25 minutes, they're level 8, they've got no items. Oh, they've, they've managed to stumble into a glimmer just through passive gold. Hit some fucking creeps! I, wa I want to see Rocket Man do well here or he's going to struggle. Uh, he hasn't got any of those. No, okay. Okay. Oh, he got one, he got one. He's got to get this rangy. He's not used any mana yet, there we go. You got that's, it! That's some, some decent storming. We'll take some that. Some reasonable storming. I remember my coaching sessions with uh, with Blitz. He was like, you don't use the Q and your right click to farm. You use them to push the other guy out of lane. So every time you get an overcharge, you clonk and then you click a few more times. And you make them terrified of you. Like this. Like Rocket Man's doing here. That's exactly it. It's like it's like Quop, you know. You should never just cast your dagger and then fuck off. Right. You've always got to give them. You got to give them a little pat on the backside as they you time as they it. Away. Oh, he's tanking tower. Oh, he's thrown his lane so fast. Oh, why? Although Squelchy also struggling here. Just like that. Just. I I would I would profess a warning for all you prospective players out there. If you don't really get how tower aggro works and you don't know how to manipulate it, please don't walk onto the enemy tower. <laughs> you, 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 if you fuck that shit up, it's lane losing so fast. Just Google it. There's like a three minute YouTube video. It's really easy. Yeah, yeah that's why just, Riley's just fucking just... crushing lanes these days, mate. That's well, why. I I understand tower aggro because I watched like a three minute YouTube video on it. Easy, just easy. just be be careful with the towers. I know they're not they're not league towers. They hurt. You can dive them, but you're like but level be two or three. Careful. You're like level two or three. You take a tower hit. It fucking hurts. Like it can put you entirely on the back. But you can be winning a lane and tank tower shots, and suddenly it's all gone to shit. Squelchy is struggling here. Bommy, Bommy, get these runes. <laughs> make him sad. Savix dead. Hunter might also be dead. No, he's fine. Hunter's okay. He's alive. Calm down, Riley. Calm down. There was a... Oh. Wow. Okay. Rubik also he died. Does. Oh, dear. Samo might be in trouble. Nope. Bird's going to turn around. Hunter, Hunter is in big trouble. Samo's having a much easier lane uh, than last game, which is not great news for bad lads. Much, much uh, easier lane, unfortunately. The good fellas are down 3-0. This is what We're happens. Down 1k in three minutes, which is that takes some doing. Bad. That really takes some doing. Oh god, I'm fucking tired. Jesus, wrapped. Oh, it's gonna be a chill cast for me. I'm, Look at I'm this. He's fucking. He says it's chill cast. He's fucking typing in goons chat in Twitch. He's also typing in the. But he's also fucking cast in the game. Uh oh. That's that hurt. I've got more, um, I do have the info Give us stats, Riley. The, uh, Give us stats draft. all day long. So, uh, I don't have great stats. I do have more insider info on the draft. Um, bad lads, they were just looking to, they, 
they said they were just gonna have fun. They're just trying to have fun. They picked some easy stuns. Uh, Eddie said their strategy, quote, run at him, stun at him, have fun at him. All right, I don't like that. that. I hate that. Just that simple. Yeah, I think um, I think it's a good way to play Dota, but I don't think it's a good way to win Dota. Yeah. However, I think if you're I, I like the more time thinking of good drafts and less time thinking of catchy slogans. <laughs> you might have a better chance. Yeah. Who's the coach? It's it's Eddie Smalls, I believe. Eddie Smalls. Yeah, Eddie, Eddie needs to I don't know step up. who it is for good goon fellas, but... They may be one of those coachless heathens. Who dares I mean, to enter they don't the need it. without our expert advice. Yeah, they're currently uh, only one game down. Uh, four for four one. So Who'd they drop a game to? Uh, they dropped a game to... I think it was too hot for Dota. Hmm. How's he stay the game? Oh, for, get kill. Uh, Hunter gets a kill. He's not Hunter, you gotta hit him. You gotta fuck, just fucking try. Yeah, you gotta, yeah. There, there's no running there. There's no running, sir. So. You gotta pray for some crazy crits. I feel like Rocket Man's done all right. I, th I think he's done it's, all right. It's okay. He he's done he right. would have probably. I mean, uh, he was. Yeah, I mean, his farm's fine. He's not really been pressed by by Squelchy. They're they're kind of chilling. No one's come mid to fuck with runes or anything. Or to fuck with each other. They're they're oh, fine. He's gonna was, hit six. What did you vacuum, time Tom's? What did you vacuum? I can't even imagine. Like he didn't move an inch. What what did you vacuum? The 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 goons. It's a long old cooldown level one, eh? Fucking hell. Sixty seconds. Dude, don't even get me started on vacuum cooldowns. Aside from aside from meta, is that the longest basic spell cooldown? I'm trying to think. I mean, I think it's up there. It's gotta be up there. What else is even? CK was indeed picked. I think fourth. They picked him fourth, and then they picked yeah, Darkseer? They, yeah, they picked him against the PA, I think. Oh. So late! So late! Just no help coming from CK, just watching his CM die. That's a level 6 on Squelchy and on Rocket Man. so now that there's any way the, the, the storm dies here, really. Spirit bear. Spirit bear. That's that's mm. embarrassing. That is really embarrassing. <laughs> should have known that one. Should have got that one. There's no, there's no denying it. Bob, if you want to be all knowledgeable, mate, why don't you nut up and get in the cast instead of being a pussy? I was trying to Google it. Couldn't find anything. <laughs> my, uh, I, my at least you're job. honest about, about going for the Google. Oh, Rocket Man is fucking dead. Oh no, what? Yeah, okay, he's a hundred percent dead. Here bop, comes Zavi. They do want more. Bap, bap, bap. God, Primal's a fucking funny hero. He dies. Oh, right? well, nice TP, Clavs. I'm here to help. Radiance Middle uh -oh. Tower is under attack. Oh my, poor old Hunter. Not doing anything to this Darks here. Has it's, Vanguard, it is, it is doesn't sad. really give a hoot. I mean, the, this is actually kind of nice, because hopefully Hunter, Thompson does this, and just farms the wave past you. This is exactly when you start high-fiving your opponent, because you're like, you and I, we're cool, right? You're just going to farm the wave there, I'll farm the wave here, we'll have a good time. And then some annoying post war comes out, he's like, no, what? Let's kill him. And you're, the, the, the truce is spoiled. <laughs> Oh, oh he's general started, coming in. You gotta hit creeps. First he needs level door. six. It's not gonna help. Oh dear. <laughs> so, Savage couldn't even come in there with a frostbite. No, wall's in the way. Oh and he's, dear. He's probably fucking deed. She doesn't have swap. I don't, I don't think she. Well, I guess Thompson doesn't actually have a 
W on himself, so he's not doing no. any damage by walking next to him. I think he forgot. <laughs> he ran out. Yeah. He was just walking next to CM doing no damage. Pretty base. Rockerman having to use a bunch of mana just to live. So, this first gank from Storm is going to be important. I wonder if he's going to wait for treads. He's very low Radiant on health. He's mannering up. He does have a CM in the game, which is nice, but... That does keep him going a fair bit. He's got Falcon Blade as well. So his mana regen is pretty, pretty sick. Probably needs to get a kill on someone here. I don't. I wouldn't go for the dogs here. I would maybe try and kill the PA before she hits six. Yeah, I think... So I. Th I, I don't Radiant want to say for sure because I'm not certain. I think Storm Spirit builds are back to being a kind of early Orchid Rush, mm. but with a bit more, uh, a bit more regen like a Falcon Blade built in. Right. I think you're a, you're an Orchid builders now. Oh, it, it might be like Witchblade Orchid as well. So he um, he's not going to come and gank. Uh, I think that's a shame because you've got level six Slaughter, but he doesn't have any levels in 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 uh, Vortex. Now, if, if, if... Oh, Primal Beast is rotating. Savik is in a lot of trouble oh top. God. But there's five here. Did they need all five? I don't think they did. They're trying to chase Bird down. You are you are delighted by this view, Radiant. That's actually such a <laughs> big dog. <laughs> Bird takes so the many TPs. Moves. Okay. Well, so many TPs and they get nothing but a CM. I mean, if you feed mid, you're pretty sad, but... What is Hunter doing with all this space? He's, getting he's okay. not farming. He's not farming waves. Not he's farming green gems. Yeah. I mean, it's interesting. The only concern that worth right right now is actually Darkseer. He's the only one who's having a properly good game. Everyone oh, else, going deep. Oh, no, pretty similar. That. that was a, a, mo a heat of the moment decision that he then changed his mind on. We've all been there. Pomsa is absolutely loaded, it should be said, and he is going to try to run this guy down. That's kill for Samu. Dyer have a lot of, uh, a lot of their team uh, just walks next to you and you take damage. It's pretty, pretty spooky, actually. <laughs> That's a good point. That's two, two anyway. It's, it's the most you could have on a team, I think. Oh my god, nice swap. Does Timber count? He sort of does. Uh, he's, he's kind of a hero that just walks next to you and does damage, right? No, I don't think so. Because you have to, you have to cast a spell for that. I would say necro. If you, so had... you have to cast a spell for primals and for doxes. That can't be the discriminator. No, yeah, yeah, no, that's fair. That's fair. Right, but you're not. You you put the thing. Now, it's, it's not it's while the they're walking next to you. It's when yeah, they stand in it. True. Okay. I'm saying necro. Darkseer your Ion Shill. Trample. Like, what else have you got? Uh, the, uh, Take Radiance out of the mix, because that's anybody. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's poor. Death Who else has all. a Yuan There's Bristle, Bristle, kind of, right? Doesn't need to hit you, just yeah, walks off the path. Yeah, that's true, but you, you'd have to hit him. Well, you don't Well, you don't have to. You can, you can cast him. So he, he gets that, because he doesn't have to, you don't have to hit him at all. Just sprays you down. Can they get Pudge, something here? obviously. Pudge is the main one. Pudge, yep, yeah, there's a good one. one. Oh, Flamethrower, um, that's true, Flamethrower. Blame for it, yeah, Timber's back in. Beastmaster now, new mm. Hawks, just summons mm. them, walk next to you. Oh, I mean, yeah, it's a tiny amount of damage, bomb. but... No, it's not, it's amazing. You get it's four, amazing. It's you really get really four of them up, damage. it's hilarious. <laughs> it's so much fun, though. I don't think this is a kill. I th Ooh, good swap. Oh, good swap. And then here comes the Primal Beast to ruin Hunter's Day. Day successfully ruined. Oh, that's satisfying. The double kill with the last thump down, yep. getting both heroes, is fun. Well, this game is fucking over. Grammy says Witch Doctor, of course, with the changes to uh, his heal now. Oh, yes, of course yes, he does damage shout. with the heal. Ember? Yeah, okay, yeah, I'll give you Ember. He's got the, the Flame God, yeah, that does a little damage. I, I will argue that Death Prophet and Primal. I, I'll, I'm sorry. I'll give you Death Prophet. I'll give you Death Prophet. I'm happy to. Darkseer and Primal are, are two of the main contenders. I, I think so. 
is under attack. There's more than I thought, though, admittedly. On the load with Shard? Yeah. Alright, no. Yeah, I'll give you that, I'll give you that. CM with Shard, therefore, as well. And she is strolling. Other Shard means he can target himself or an ally, I think, with fire. And then oh. you walk around with it. Oh, you just, like, just kind of walk about. Leshrac, of course, mm. Leshrac. Of course, Leshrac. The golems don't count, they're not heroes. Willow. Yeah, if we do, yeah, we're going Willow, golems, yeah. that would include Ali as well. Willow, I like. Does the bear do damage just by being next to you? Well, the bear is hitting, but your hero is not. Right, but that's so hitting. That, that, doesn't that is technically, no, technically. I, I don't even think technically. Well, the point is, it, like, if, we allowed, go, if we allowed matter. golems for that reason. Batrider's We're a good shout. Gyro side. Batrider's good. good. Yeah, disrupt the shard. Also, uh, um, uh, therefore. But, but the point is, uh, Mr. Dark portrait is, himself. Riley's description of it's only the two heroes, therefore it's the majority, it's a surprising amount, is, is, is disproven. In other words, Riley, I you're out of the stack. Alright, well, I... <laughs> We've proven I don't know much about Dota. What a, what a shock. I reckon he Googled there. it. Well, I reckon he slammed that straight into Google <laughs> and proudly said. <laughs> Clockwork battery assault, yes. I'll oh, take I'll take one. Luna I'll take Luna as well. Yeah. This is about half the heroes in Dota. There's a lot, yeah, of, there's a lot of them, eh? There's a there's a real lot of them. Axe if you count shards. being hit. Well, you, yeah, I guess the, I can oh hello. Well. Yeah, Sanking. Also now you can walk with Sandstorm, so technically. Yeah, it's, we're not too. I mean Luna's shard definitely. Yeah. That's just I I want to I want to play Luna and cast that because it's so funny the little things swirling around your hero is so cool. But Sandstorm now you can walk. We already said that. Mm -hmm. What about Night Stalker? Does his uh, IOE silence thing do damage? Doom, of course, needs to be in there with Ags. I thought about and with the flaming uh, ship. Night Stalker, but it doesn't do damage. I'm oh, okay. Right. Well, we'll put Doom in there because of the flaming shit that he does. Doom and Spheres Ags as well. So Bristle, I don't think needs to be included because you need to be hit. That's the but problem. You... We're saying if you don't need to, because otherwise Ax features. Because oh, then, you don't need to hit Bristle to for him to walk next to you, not hit you, and kill you. With his new axe, all right, that's right? true. That's true. If we're allowing casting of spells, then yes. If we're allowing, if we're allowing ags in. and spells, you're right. Bristle yeah, yeah, absolutely yeah. Bristle's in. Bristle's in. I think it'd be easier to name the ones that don't. Bloodseeker axe, fucking hell, yeah, that's another one. All right, one. yeah, Bloodseeker um, axe. <laughs> I'm hoping to hear his tap back up now. Um, Radiant. Not even the Ags, you can just walk around quilling and still be walking. You yeah, don't have to stop, there's no cast point on quills. I think that's close to all of them, right? Old Razor could technically do it because you hit automatically the person you were leashed to. And it didn't slow you, your, your move speed wasn't slowed right, but by it. Razor, Razor Ult. Razor roll, shit, Razor does count. And also, if DP, you're unleashed to someone, you still wallop them. DP, no. absolutely. Yeah, DP, Two spells DP, we've already said, already said DP. DP's we've already said there. DP, that's fine. Uh, no, deep, uh, so oh. Naga doesn't count. Badlabs are winning this fight. Freezing field here. Because A, her illusions have to stop, they can't just keep walking. And we're not allowing LD for that reason. Oh, okay, alright, they turned it around. It's, it's alright. Yeah, I don't yeah. <laughs> Let's just keep thinking about weird Dota facts. This yeah, so, we don't care about this game. Um, this is so bad. This is not a great game. Radiance Middle Tower. We already said attack. Necro. Slark? Uh, with the no. Q, I guess. No, that, that's a no, spell. I just, that uh, spell. It doesn't. It's not a killing spell. Ember's already on the list. We've already got Ember. Ember's in there. I think. I think Eri just typed in the in the wrong in the wrong chat. <laughs> Unless he was responding to a to a, a question in Kieran's chat about Razor with new Storm Surge. <laughs> nice jump, Alistair. Prodigo oh, just Lich. Is bed for with the frost armor. He wonder which oh, shit, of course, Lich, the yeah. <laughs> most valued egg award. We've done clock with assault already. We yeah. have to be reaching the limit here. I mean, this <laughs> oh, is shit. big for bad oh, lads. Is it? 
It is a big kill, but here comes the Vets Prima up the high ground, kills them all instantly, game over. But oh, you nice truly shot. can't walk through enclosed spaces against a Primal Beast. And a no, Chikiro. You certainly don't walk downhill to them, Hunter. What are you it's doing? It's this. IO balls, yes, very good. No, I don't think MK Axe works because he can't just follow you indefinitely. That's only within his ult. Jug? So MK Axe drops Ooh. them just jug. in yep, life. Jug. Yeah, but, but then, I don't know but then it... Clink says to be in as well. I don't. I don't think. I don't we think already said Grinstrike. Because you can't really kill someone just with the illusions. It's just a, bit, a little bit of extra nice damage. But what if you? I. <laughs> jug. Grim Ink Swell. Jug Q. We have a Sakuchi, so. shit. Shikuchi, I guess, yeah. But that only does it once. I don't think that counts because it's only one instance of damage. I think. But then, I that, think then, the, then we're then we're, we're cutting the qualifying out again. factor. I think has to be more than one tick of damage. Oh, are we thinking it's literally you're walking along next to them, minding your own and business, you, and people and are taking doing continual damage. DPS? Continual like DPS. with okay. Ion Shell, like no, that's with fair. Because then, yeah. then at that point, we can just say if, if it takes long enough, Lion could count on this. You know, he just fingers someone. If he just keep walking around the map, fingering them, eventually they'll die. Um, it has to be like a central okay, thing. I don't know about central because his ult is very short range. And it doesn't. Yeah, you couldn't. You couldn't. It's, it's one instance of damage, right? It's not the continuous. Yeah. I mean, if, if you but look Centaur, at Centaur with someone hitching riding in the back doing the hitting for you, <laughs> would count. <laughs> That's that true. Count, yeah. Right. Well, then Centaur counts by default because he could have any hero in his back. Yeah. So Centaur is definitely in because Centaur with Necro would include Centaur in that. No, Eri. If we count magnetized, that means any hero that's magnetized would count, right? Because that means because you you can reapply the magnetize. And it, don't heroes spread it to each other? Uh, at Isn't this point, like we're just contagious? spreading it to, can you cast a spell in Dota? Because <laughs> then Venoult would count, because if you die, Phoenix all of the Sunbeam, effect of it, Phoenix you Sunbeam, it. you definitely can. That is a continual bzzz yeah, that is and you walking. Walk in. Yeah, yeah. All yeah. Right. We were looking originally for Radiance-like effects, where you walk next to someone and do damage, and now it's half the heroes in the game. It's just every <laughs> spell, it seems. <laughs> So Mechboy, you've done yourself there by saying Phoenix ult and Sunray. Of course, Phoenix is static during Sunray. He's not walking. He's not walking. Okay, Brewmaster ult technically gives you a Radiance-like effect on your Ember. All right, then Fire yes, that's, that's acceptable. So that has, that's it. it. That's acceptable. I, yeah, yeah. Windrunner with ult, I... Mm, ooh, uh, not, mm. That's a right click. I don't think so. I don't, I'm, I'm I think disqualifying we should, that. I think we should exclude anything that does one tick of damage or is... Uh, an auto attack. I think it's just right clicks are out in general. Right clicks are out. We've already got Necro. Of course we've got Necro. Of course we've got Necro. Look how deep we've necro. gone into the lore. And your suggesting Necro. shield would be in the Sakuchi sphere where it's one hit of damage. Yes. Continuous. Yeah. You're not walking alongside them doing continual damage. No, Eren. Otherwise, walking next to someone and then stunning them counts. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Just, that's any hero at this point. We've already done Disruptor. You gotta done think. Disruptor. You gotta, you gotta think deeper. Troll is hitting again. You gotta think deeper. <laughs> what was the original question? Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> yeah. Does that mean Gyro Ags can't be in? Because that is a technically. So it's you're not attack, right clicking right? as Gyro though. It's I like suppose, having a but wheel. But it is an auto attack. It is an auto attack. But it's not an auto attack because you can't. I, I don't think you can control it. Can you? Like, I haven't played the new Gyro, but can you just press space and he doesn't can't, click? Or does he just always stop. click? Because if you stop can't it. stop it, it's a continual effect. Mm -hmm. Elder Titan Q, what are you chatting? Leech, leech seed? I, mm, no, That's not, not coming from you, you no. put Dazzle it on them. Sting. Dazzle Poison Sting is good. No, because no, you right click, click them to keep it fucking Shit. ridiculous. No, that doesn't work. We ha there has this has to be that we can. I think we can safely say we've done. We okay, we're we're re going. We've done it. We've completed the greatest list of all time. We can stop. It's over. It's done. It's complete. We shouldn't. I I don't know why you're trying to end it so soon. This game has still got like ten minutes left. No, 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 no. Because at this point we're just going to be going back through the ones game, saying no, we've already yeah. done that. No, we've already done. That. I mean, it's great for chat interaction. Maybe we do want to do that. Maybe that's what a good stream would do. Shut I'm up. just happy to, to... I did this! I literally <laughs> happy, did this! Happy to indulge the morons and keep it going for the rest of the stream. 
Hey guys, press 1 if you think Dyer's gonna win this game! <laughs> press 2 if you think Radiant's gonna win! Yeah, do that. Get if you think in. Radiant's gonna win, press 1. If you think Dyer's gonna win, press 2. <laughs> As I'm so excited to see what you guys have to say. <laughs> this decided game. Who said 1? Is Innocentius, you're a fool. Yeah. I want, I want that, uh, Radiant to win. He's really, really rooting for him. Hello! I desire to win this as quickly as possible. That's oh, a big ice path, and that's a fucking kill. huge macro pie, oh my god. Gibbo, well done, mate. They didn't even get a single kill. Didn't even get the, uh, the venge. They're gonna <laughs> think this is just the PA. They're gonna be like, fucking PA. I think they can. I think they know this is the the dark serum primal. I think it'd be hard to say this is. This is everything. This is all yeah. the things added together. <laughs> Unit cast tricks of the trade. Shit, that's actually a good one. Ricky Ags, you jump in they're like the centaur. Cards. All right. All right. Wait. 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 Else. Then therefore, life stealer infest the life enemy Ags. has yes. to count. Okay. No, we're back on. We're back on. <laughs> okay. We're back. Well done, Ari. Well done, Ari. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Here's a, here's a, here's another question then. Okay. Is there a hero in Dota with their default spells and including items that only has point targeted spells and passives? Uh, of course, Wraith King used to be this way. Right? Wraith King used to, but I'm saying that with the skeletons, they're still targeting one person at a time. Is is Wraith King the only guy? And what? Surely then. Sven, was his cleave count as a target really, spell? I... Lion is not, Maybe because you can not. get Ags and you can target multiple heroes. Bane is a good shout, Eri. But Bane you can is... get the AoE no, the, the Brain Sap. AoE Brain Sap, yeah. And Lion Shard means you can target multiple heroes with your Mana Void. So you guys are wrong on Lion and Bane. So looking for a hero that spells, including Ags and, and Ag Shard, yes. are only single targets. Items other than Ags and Ag Shard are excluded. Yeah. Oh my, nice swap. Does, does, does CK Samo count? in trouble? He's got fantasy. CK? Ooh. Yeah. That's a tough does one. A, but his spells are, are only the single target. Are They're only single target. target. PA as reason. well, only single target. I think we got yeah. PA and CK. Oracle, so his is it his Ags that is an AoE heal? His shot yeah, his Ags now is the AoE heal, you're right. Um Wyvern's splinter thing hits multiple it's targets. AOE. Yeah. Yeah. We've we're counting passives. We are counting passives. So Arcane Supremacy only gives him spell amp. Fade Bolt hits multiple targets, therefore he's excluded. Links is pretty. And does the the sploosh chuck the? I think it's out? AOE. I think it's That's AOE. AOE. I could be wrong. PA shard is AOE. That's true. And she has a talent that gives her triple dagger, so she's out. All right, I gotta, I gotta go. I gotta tell my team well done because they fucking dubbed. So right, there might nice, be a, nice, a better nice. game nice. to watch in a minute. Anti major's ult is AOE. Chen's ult is AOE. Is hits multiple heroes. Night Stalkers silences AOE. If you can wait, Eri, because this game is over, and if, if the game wants to start, I will happily leave this one. Yeah. Um, can we just have, uh, They might call it after this fight. They're getting wrecked. Nice job, Alistair. Alexi Stratino, basso 19, just they did kill, bed they did kill the PA. Spray Breaker's charge can affect multiple targets. Mm. Otherwise, that's a good show. You are right. Lich is not single target because his uh, shield his will affect ult. multiple targets and his ult will bounce. My deepest oh, hello. They might get a win out of this fight. They have they have killed Samo immediately. They've got the um, every other lad down just to find them out. And then just goes. Oh my god, Primal's gonna oh kill them Oh my god, all. the Primal is fucking unstoppable. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay. Enchantress. So her heal will affect multiple allies. Mm, good call. Wow, good answer. Because I, I, I really thought it changed as well. Um, Bane does have multi-target in that. If he gets the, I think it's the, the I can't remember if it's a talent. I think it's a talent where his um, uh, brain sap uh, is AoE. No, I don't want to hear your worst hero ever. Broodmother is a reasonable shout. I think Brood might be it. I'm not Lycan is also a very good shout, but doesn't he have an ability that affects everything else on the map and makes them attack faster? Does Shaman count? Brood Ags is AoE, and she doesn't isn't the bowler thing? Is that AoE? I don't know. Okay, cool. Eri, we are ready to join the other game. Okay. I'm leaving this one. Alright, I'm out.